All right. How are you? That's very formal. How how are you? Are you doing fine? You are. Fantastic. Um, what I've got with me is a Nintendo official magazine. Now I have a stack of these, and I'm going to be going through these um, one by one every now and again because they're really cool to go through. I've just had a quick read. I found these up in the loft with my video game collection of the past and it's good. Good nostalgia, man. These are the official jobbies which I got. Um, this is actually backdated to August 98. This is the first one that I had and not the last. There were a few others this is the UK that we're talking about as well, right? A few other vid, um, Nintendo 64 magazines you could get, but this being the official one, hey, you actually see quite a lot of bias, but um, it was good. It was a good magazine. It was very Pokemon related as well, um, should I say orientated, um, which I enjoyed because I was very Pokemon fanboyish, I suppose. You gotta catch them all. You gotta catch them all. So I'm gonna go through and pick up some cool things. What I really enjoyed as well was like these old adverts. So this is one for the Game Boy Pocket. Pocket? I didn't know there was a Game Boy Pocket. I guess this was a thinner version. If it was. So these are the guys, the editor and the journos. <clears throat> Anything interesting? I will zoom in. Now we got just the contents here. First up, Wipeout 64. Did you ever play that? I remember when this first came out on the PlayStation, which, funnily enough, having a look through a lot of these, there's this Club Mario section, uh, which I will quite easily highlight when I come up to it. Um, but all the little kiddies, me included, I'm sure I would have participated, um, call the PlayStation the Grey Station because at the time the PlayStation was the competition. In fact, my brother got the PlayStation, or the Grey Station, and I got the N64. Very, very lucky kids getting our, um, our consoles at the same time. So Mission Impossible, this is a game which wanted to be GoldenEye. Failed miserably. I don't remember ever playing it. It never got good reviews as far as I can remember. Um, they usually do reviews and come up with the uh, a rating, a percentage rating for Banjo-Kazooie there. Great game. Um, like they do here. So here we go, 84%. Which you'd think is fairly high, but it's not actually. So what do they say? Mission Impossible's turned out to be a bit of a disappointment. Yeah, here we go. It's quite a good game, but doesn't excel in any category. Some levels are good, some are poor, but none are excellent. It's no golden eye, Peter. But if you're after a good game with stacks of variety, it could be worth a look. 84%. That's right. So, you know, it's not very fair that it's had to come up against GoldenEye because that was the game of the N64, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. And we've got this, right? Baseball was not, is not a big game in the UK. 90% though, if you ever look in the bottom hand corner. So they're strange. And you also did see this time to time, the Nintendo Official Magazine Awesome tag. Um, I think they must put it on things that are awesome, like 90% and up, etc. Another American sort of thing, NBA. Wasn't a very big thing for me. That got 89%. I was more into the footballs, the shocker. And WWF Warzone. I never got a um, WWF game for the 90% uh, for the N64. I didn't actually have many games for the N64. 
they were quite expensive to be honest. I always loved this. These these were always fun to have a look at, you know, they always had these weird things like games and stuff you could call before the internet, right? Well, vaguely before the internet. You could Game Boy camera? Nice. You could um, call up and play games over the phone and you'd win a prize. It'd be something very lame, but you'd win a prize. So this is the test part. So this is when I say they're pretty biased. <clears throat> You've got these rumble packs that they test. Uh, for example, the rumble pack, the official one, gets the awesome tag. Yeah, I guess it's maybe well deserved. Maybe it is better than all of them. But then they do a best of the rest. Okay. And it's usually the. Uh, oh no, the shockwave is actually the most expensive. I was going to say the, the rumble pack would be the most expensive. But, like for example, the shockwave is a rumbler, but it has uh, memory as well. I didn't know that they actually came with memory in them. But this, uh, this must be a quick sort of show of the games that they rate. Um, and they usually rate them pretty high. Like, GoldenEye, 94%. I could, I could see GoldenEye being 94%. And you got Banjo Kazooie 96. Um, let's have a look here though. Anything else? Diddy Kong 94. Yep, I'd agree. I never played Duke Nukem 64, did I? I never owned it anyway. That's a 91%. Was that any good? Do you guys play that? Blast Corpse. I never played that. That's something I'm probably gonna go get. I did want to actually play that. <clears throat> ah. Interesting, the steering wheels. Um, I got this one here, the V3 racing wheel. I grabbed that one. I still have it. Good times, so I have to bust that one out. So let's quickly go through this anyway. This is a lot of the same, just rating games. The controllers, the official one wins again. I mean, that's got to be hard to beat though, right? It was such a great controller. These are the fun parts. These old school adverts. And then the tips. Alright. Got some tips, some cheats. Not all of them were, were cheats though. They do have some cheats. but These are tips. Talking faster so you can get to skip during GoldenEye. More train time. I always use these. They were bloody good. These were good magazines. Good magazines. Game Boy advert there for V Rally Championship. Fun adverts. Some really good adverts in this. Your scores. Now, I always thought that I did actually write in to this. I can't remember what it was for, but I'm pretty sure I never actually got published anyway. Whatever it was. Here we go, is a uh, time cheat techniques for GoldenEye. Some good good tips here guys. Forsaken. Game I never played. Was it any good? I thought it was. I thought it always got um, some good reviews. Did it get a review though? It was just a tips. GT64. I grabbed this game. I didn't think it was that flash hot though. There weren't very many good racing games for the N64 as far as I could tell. You know, you, you got your good ones, like your good party games, like Diddy Kong, and um, bloody, bloody Mario Kart, that's the one. Um, but as far as games like Gran Turismo, they just didn't have them. And obviously Forza. Um, Club Mario, Club Mario. 
so I'm sure this is what I wrote into, you know, you'd you'd say stupid shit like, for example, in last month's issue, you said FIFA 64 had a transfer market. I'm right to tell you that it hasn't. I don't know why you said why you said it, you bunch of scabs. <laughs> That's from Daniel Wells in Bognor, West Sussex, in which they reply, FIFA 64 has an option which allows you to swap players. I think that counts as a transfer system, don't you? Yeah. Scabs. <laughs> and this was fun. I enjoyed watching, uh, watching, um, looking at these other people's rooms, you know, they deck them out with bloody, um, Nintendo memorabilia. And they'd win shit too, you know, these... These guys would come round and play on their N64s, and these kiddies just got a shit ton of shit ton of shit, shit ton of shit. They're always West Ham supporters for some reason. Um, yeah, it's always fun, fun to look at this part actually. And they have a few of these, quite a lot of these. Now I can't remember if it was I I drew a picture, maybe. Now I either. Even if I actually saw it get published, and, and it did, because I never got that issue, or it just never happened. I think it just never happened, to be honest. A bit of a shame, because I wanted to win something. Turok 2. Turok was a good game. Never owned it, though. But I remember... Because... Were you the same when um, F-Zero? Good game. <clears throat> Originally, on what? What can you tell me that F Zero came out originally on? What did it come out originally? Can't remember. What I was getting up is, um, did you ever, you know, you had a console and uh, you had some games and your mate had some other games, so you never bought those games because you'd just go around to your mate's house, Titanic levels. There's a shark. Thank you. Um, so, for instance, Mario Kart. Great game, but I never owned it because a friend owned it. And me and my brother would always just go over. You just take your extra controllers around and you, you rock it out. Now, it was good. This was a good way of knowing what games were coming up because you really didn't have the internet. So, in the internet, era today you don't really buy magazine subscriptions do you? I don't. Um, and Winback, I think this would have been my first view of Winback, Operation Winback and they got you excited about it because they were saying you know it could be a contender for GoldenEye and it kind of was not. It was, it was a fun game but not many people played it to be honest. And the trouble was, I was too good at these games. Goldeneye, I was way too good. <clears throat> Pokemon Stadium, alright. So these stupid things, right? Like this game, Alien Attack. You call this number... Uh, zap three or more aliens to win a choice of prizes. So I'm guessing you've got some automated thing on the other side of the phone and you've got to say zap at certain points and everyone wins, obviously, I'd say. And um, I think these are more like scams, aren't they? They're very scammy. But I enjoyed looking at the uh, the cool shit like that. Coca-Cola can speaker system and go and oh I'd like one of those. So we're coming to the end. Diddy calm. Another great advert there. Game Boy Camera. Fontography. So that's it. i I'm gonna do a few of these every now and again. Um, I may not go for all of them because I really do have a stack. 
there are some good Pokemon stuff. So obviously Pokemon hadn't really come out for the N64 at that point. It was only just coming out. We saw a bit of uh, Pokemon Stadium there. And then it just goes Pokemon crazy. So next one we've got. This is uh, 1998 again. This is 1998 August again. I think the other one was August as well. They must have brought them out bi bi-weekly or something. Maybe two a month. That's probably it. And uh, so here we got the next one. A bit of Banjo Kazooie in there. And um, some more news on Wimback. So if you enjoy that, come join me next time. All right. Team moving. We're surrounded, man. We gotta get out of here.